What is the cause of the fat pad under my eye, and how can it be treated? Hello, doctors. I have been battling with this bag under my right eye since I was about 21. That's when it started becoming more prominent. I am now 30, and the fat pad seems to have gotten worse. Upon feeling it with my index finger, I do indeed feel little pieces of fat. They are soft and squishy, sorry, to the touch. The left eye has very little fat. What is my best option here? I am so self-conscious about it. People ask me if I'm tired or if I got into a fight. Please help me. Thanks. Thank you for your question. You're 30 years old, you submitted a photo, and you stated in your question that since the age of 21 you've noticed a prominence of a fat bag under the right eye. You want to know what the cause is and what the best treatment is. And you describe in very good detail how it feels. So, just to give you um, a sense of uh, who I am and what, and, and the basis of my answer to your question, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, board certified by American Board of Cosmetic Surgery. I've been practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for the past 20 years. And under eye bags is one of the most common uh, issues we treat in our practice. So, to begin with, your description of squishy and that feeling of the of it feeling like fat is exactly correct. It's uh, it's lower eyelid fat prolapse. What this means is the fat that's normally around your eyes pushes forward, creates a hernia, and that's why you just as you described in your question, it's been progressively getting worse. The fat pocket once it pushes out it pushes out even further as time goes on. Now there are numerous factors that can contribute to it getting worse, but the fact that you have a significant asymmetry clearly draws a lot of attention and people asking you if you got into a fight or if you're tired, and it's extremely common. Now when you look for solutions for under eye bags, it's likely that you have already tried uh, topical creams and moisturizers that are typically sold at retailers for under eye bags and of course those, those don't work. Uh, when you're dealing with the physical volume of fat, you, no, nothing topical will make a difference. There is also options of using various types of hyaluronic acid fillers to camouflage the fat. Now this is unfortunately not likely to be the, of benefit to you in the absence of a physical exam. It seems pretty obvious from the, your photo that it looks like the bag is too prolapsed out. It's too far out to be of value to try to hide it or camouflage it with hyaluronic acid filler. In our practice for someone who's young like yourself, we typically address this problem with the procedure called a lower eyelid transconjunctival blepharoplasty. The reason I, I use the term transconjunctival, it has to do with an approach. You see, a, there are essentially two ways to address fat pockets. One is from the outside, called a transcutaneous approach, and one is from the inside, called a transconjunctival approach. For younger people, usually there is no issue with extra skin, and therefore there's no reason, in my, in, from my perspective, to go and make an incision on the outside. What we do is we address the fat pockets from the inside of the eyelids. This way there's no external scar. We also perform these procedures in our office uh, facilities under local anesthesia with light sedation. That means you're able to avoid general anesthesia. Again, this is my preference. Um, a, a lot of surgeons prefer general anesthesia. From my perspective, a procedure like this, which I've been doing uh, for over 20 years and have a lot of experience with, I find that the, the experience of the patient is so much better when they avoid general anesthesia. They're able to recover a lot faster. They don't have any of the side effects of the medications and the, just the recovery from the stress of general anesthesia. So we do it under local anesthesia with sedation, and most of our patients go back to work in less than a week. So with that being said, I think that, again, the, de the definition of your issue is that you have lower eyelid fat prolapse, and the solution that I would suggest, based on your photo and your history, is a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. So what I would recommend is you meet with qualified, experienced cosmetic surgeons 
and learn about the options. Get to know your doctor and get to a sense of what that doctor's aesthetic is and style and get a sense of what you can anticipate your final appearance will be. What I explain to my patients is that it, when you have this procedure done, because you've had puffiness for so long, it's hard to imagine yourself without the puffiness and then there's a common concern of being over hollowed. So what I tell people is that essentially our goal is to achieve a look as if you never had the bags, which means that the skin will naturally follow the, the contours as if the, there was no fat prolapse there. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.